Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a deck that I did a year ago on this date, the 22nd of December. A very interesting day for me, and I thought I would remake this deck. It was a fun deck to make, and it was a pretty favorite deck of mine to look at, and again, that was just a very weird day for me. So, the deck in question is of course Zoark with Counter Energies and Garboder. That was the deck I made a year ago, and we're going to be revisiting the deck today in all of its glory, and we're going to be updating it and seeing how it works now in the new format. Now, before we get into the video, there's been a lot of talk about banning Zoark GX in Expanded. People are asking for Zoark to be banned, people want Lusamine to be banned, and there's even talk of double colorless energy to be banned in Expanded. Now, here's my thoughts on that. I think Zoark GX should get banned. You honestly can't really ban Execute and Skyfield. That probably won't stop Zoark from being good. Like, Zork will still be pretty dominant. There's so many ways you can play this. I don't think banning Skyfield or Execute is going to solve the problem. Though I could see Execute getting banned in general, because it is a pretty powerful ability um, outside of Zoark. Um, Lusamine, I do think the combo of recycling it in stall is very dirty and stupid. So maybe a red of Lusamine. I don't think Lusamine should be outright banned. I think it should just get a red where you can't Lusamine for Lusamine. Um... And also, Double Colors Energy does not need a ban. I, that is a little ridiculous, in my opinion, to ban that card. The card has been around for, like, eight years now. It's one of the most popular cards ever in Pokemon. Like, it is one of the most defining, basic staple cards in the TCG. So, banning it would make no sense. I think that's a dumb idea. I don't think it should be banned. It wouldn't even stop Zoark, even if you did ban it, because Zoark would still adapt to Dark Patch. So, yeah, don't ban DC. That is a very dumb idea. Uh, ban Zoark. I think Zoark GX probably does need to be banned and expanded when even stuff like Buzzwool, B-String can't even stop Zoark is what they're probably designed to do. B-String was probably designed to make Buzzwool dominate over Zoark. And when that doesn't even work, just, yeah, just call it quits and just, alright, go back to the drawing board, ban Zoark and expand it. Anyways, that's my opinion on that. What are your thoughts on the banning of Zoark and DC and Lusamine? What do you guys think? What other cards do you think should be banned and expanded? You know, Trevenant might need a ban. If Zora gets banned, Trevenant will probably be very dominant again. So, yeah. Let's look at the deck. So, yeah. Last year, I made a video on this deck, and it was using Garboder with Counter Energy Attackers. And we've updated the list to the new standard format and how it adapts. So, yeah, let's look at it. So, your main attacker is Zork GX with the ability Trade and Attack Righteous Beating. We already know what this card does. Trade allows you to get big hands. Righteous Beating is a very strong attack. And uh, we just have other backup attackers. So the other ones are just going to be Counter Energy Attackers and Garboder, which is what the original list looked like. So the first ones are going to be the Counter Energy Attackers. So the four that I've gone with are Keldeo. Keldeo is here for Blacephalon. Resolute Blade can do 20 plus 20 more damage. Free each of your points meant Pokemon. In hindsight, all they need to have is like a Naganadel, a Naganadel, and a Lele on their bench. And um, you can do 80. Put a choice band on, play Professor Kikui, you one shot a Blacephalon. Blacephalon also needs to discard three energies to take out a Keldeo, so Keldeo is our first counter energy attacker. Our second one is going to be Megirna. Megirna does have Energy Press, which allows you to do 30 plus uh, 20 more damage for each energy attack to attack Pokemon. This will one shot a Garvor fairly easily. Again, we have ca we have choice band and we have Kikuis in this deck, so Megirna should be able to one shot a Gardevoir. It actually can one shot. A nine tails with two energies on it too with two energies you're going to be doing 70 damage and then when you play a choice band you're going to be doing 200 damage so magirna is good for that lele is obviously here for rayquaza rayquaza gets mantled by garbador too but lele is also here for rayquaza with psy wave and then we have bellswool of course for zoark counter energy with swing around is also really good too the swing around can hit really good numbers on zoark without you know sledgehammer doesn't do as much swing around definitely can with a choice band so, the counter energy makes it easier to build that up. And those are counter energy attackers. Every other card in this deck is kind of just support. I am playing a Lolan Muck in here. Obviously, it's really good against those Lost March matchups and other matchups that rely on basic abilities. Uh, we are playing Macargo in here for Smooth Over. We are. The smooth Over is really good, by the way. Like, it's like Smooth Over, I think you 100% need, and that's why I'm not just playing Macargo and Ditto as the engine. I'm actually playing the Slugma to support it because I do think Macargo is so good at just finding your counter energies and stuff like that when you need them. Um, yeah. 
And of course, we are playing a Ranguru just in case we run into Mill or in case we need to get our resources back. Ditto, of course, for Mock, Garboder, Zoark, or Macargo. And yes, Garboder is the backup attacker in here. It's going to be mainly here to deal with Buzzwill, but also can deal with Rayquaza and all those other item heavy decks fairly well. So we are going to be playing the 2 2 Garboder line. And this was what the original deck was. This is literally what the original deck was. I think the counterge attackers were a bit different. I know I had Sita Widow in here, but that's gone. Um, Mimikyu, you know, I don't think was in the deck, actually. I think it was, I think Keldeo did stick around. I think Keldeo did stay. Um, I don't, I think Buzzwool and Keldeo were the only, no, but Buzzwool wasn't around back then. I do think the only other counter energy attacker was Keldeo in this deck from the original version. I don't, yeah, no, we had Sid Widow in here. My list, the, old, the older list actually was kind of bad. So originally I was playing Buzzwool GX. At the time, I thought Buzzwool GX was useful with counter energy and then i found out that does not work so i was like okay that's a stupid idea um and then the list also played drampa i think so yeah but this list is a lot different and we've adapted to the new standard format um this might not be the best zork variant but again it is nice to just kind of remake an old deck of mine that i liked and that was on a very interesting and important day for me uh let's go into the items now and uh we got four great balls since stuff like trubbish these counter energy attackers are all like 70 hp guys we're not gonna be playing the elms engine I'm just going to be playing a very heavy line of Great Balls, uh, Nest Balls, uh, Ultra Ball, just stuff like that. I am playing two copies of Palpad, Zork Dex, where we're just playing a lot of Palpad right now. One Stretcher for a Pokemon. I am playing one Ace Rolla. This is probably something you should play two of. Uh, two Cynthia's, one Lily. Those are our kind of draw supporters. We are playing two Guzmas. One copy of Judge for Disruption. Two Kikuis. Kikuis really good for these counter guys. Those are all supporters. Um, you could try and move for, like, Marshadow, but there's so many things in this deck already, you're not going to be able to fit a Marshadow in this deck. So, that's why we're going to be playing Judge instead. Very good against Volpix and Stall decks. Um, we also have Palpad to support that. Three Choice Bands, so of course, that third damage goes a long way. I am playing a Counter Gain. Since Counter Energy is kind of the main Energy Reliant source, we are playing Counter Gain also, which helps us out to Counter Gain. Rainbow Energy is another combo we can use. We are playing four DCEs, two counters, and four Rainbow Energy to round out the energy. This is my Zoark Counter Energy Garboder deck. This is the list. I've updated it, and we're going to go find some games on PCGO, and we're going to revisit an old archetype that I built a year ago today, and we're going to be trying it out once again. Alright guys, go do some matches with this deck, see what we can play against, see if we can use our Counter Energy attackers at all, or use Garboder to its advantage. So let's see what we're up against. All right, I see a bunch of different types. This is, I hope it's not spread because that's what I honestly think it is. So I hope it isn't. Hey, we lose a coin flip, people. All right, let's see what we start with. We're gonna mulligan. One of the main issues with this deck, obviously, is you do have to rely on that Great Bull Engine. I do think you could try and fit a fan club in this deck, but I've opted for like a Lily instead of fan club. So it's up to you which one you think is probably better. I don't really know which one is. Great, we got a Lele start. We do have a decent hand though, as long as this hand isn't, unless we can find our Zorua, maybe off a of Great Ball, we could probably get a couple Zorua's down. Depending on what we're playing against though, it better not be spread. But spread is not very fun to play against. We'll see. It's playing Gramble. Ooh. Okay. Gramble is a interesting matchup. I think we can beat it though, honestly. I'm not too worried about this matchup, but we'll have to find out, I guess, if we get destroyed or not. Garboder, I think, is going to be huge here. Because he has to play so many items for his deck to work. Ooh, you're a DC. Alright. Uh, Ultra Ball, Way Judge, and I guess Ultra Ball. That kind of sucks. We'll grab the Zorua. See, we prize. So we did prize the Zorua GX. We have our Garboders, which is good. We got our Mach. Alright, would be nice to try and set up a muck here too to stop a Ranguru. So we gotta consider that. Well, Great Ball. Ditto. No. But I will take Zorua. I will take the Zorua. Alright, so we can DC the Lele here and attack Snubble. I don't really know if we need to, but I think I, maybe I will. Yeah, just to get damage on it, to be fair. Zor does struggle at one shot and Gramble. Okay, we got a Nest Ball. That can get us Ditto. Not a very good hand, though. It's kind of the issue. I guess we'll play Trubbish down. It doesn't matter. He's going to play so many items anyways. So we can afford to just drop Trubbish down and just have it in play. 
He's again, he's gonna play a lot of items, so. Trubbish, doesn't matter. We can reveal that we're playing our boater. We'll see if he knocks out Lele this turn. If he does, we might be in trouble. We will get access to counter G. He's gonna catch her getting tails. But that is another item though, so that's good. Okay, so let's see what he does. We do have- okay, we actually have Stretcher, right, I just realized. So even if he knocks out Layla, we can Stretcher it back. So he's gonna get rid of Apricorn and a Choice Band. Choice Band would have been big, that would have allowed All Out to knock out my Layla in one shot. So now he's gonna have to try and find a Shrine of Punishment. But if I can hit a Muck here, I mean this matchup should be a wrap. Because Muck will stop out- Muck will stop his Gramble completely. Another nice thing with playing the Rainbow Energy in this deck, by the way, is like, if they try to like stall your Muck or something, they, you can always just Rainbow Energy Ace Roller your Muck, so we'll see. So Lele might go down this turn. We'll have to find out. We'll see what he instructed for. He needs to get an energy, first of all. I wouldn't be surprised if he has... Okay, does he get the knockout? He needs to find energy, too. Don't forget. He needs to play card story. Oh, April Court Maker. So that will give him the attack. Uh, but he already did both instructs, so Lele should survive here. The only... Okay, how much HP? 90? 60? 60... 80, okay. So he'll survive an attack, which is unfortunate. So we can't really knock him out this turn with Lele. We can try and knock him out Zoark, though. If we can get it, we could maybe top deck Zoark, trade in a DC Pokemon. Maybe we can knock him out Garboder. He's played one, two, three, four, five, six. He's played a lot of items. Yeah, that they, that's enough items. He's got one card in his hand, though. If that's a Shine or a Choice Band, I'm going to be amazed that he was able to find all that, because I'm assuming he uh, smoothed over for the energy. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so he will be able to play his hand down, but he's played super... a lot of items. I don't know why I said super, but he's played a lot of items. Lele Living is also really good. Alright, let's see what we draw. We drew a DC. That's pretty good. Uh, this might actually let me knock him out. Yeah, this will... Wait, yeah, it does let me KO this Gramble. Yeah, but the only problem with doing that, though, guys, is that it will mean I'm wasting another DC. I don't really think that's a good idea. Well, I mean, I could do it. Pick the knockout, and then... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to try and tag with Garboder, so we'll take the knockout anyways, I think. I think we'll take it. I think that's fine. Alright, let's see what our prize is. Palpad? Okay, that's pretty good. We can get back Cynthia. I don't think I'll need Judge, but maybe maybe Judge is kind of good. Hopefully next turn we get Garboder, we get Muck, we get some Zoarks online. Lele is going to bail us out here and give us that Cynthia back, so that's pretty good. Let's see, like, Judge's me. The only problem I have with doing that play is I'm burned on the DC, but we're probably going to try and attack with Garboder this turn, so I'm fine with that. We'll see. He's probably going to take out Lele this turn. He might not even need to attack me with Gramble. He can always just hit a shrine and then boom, I'm dead. Which is, oh, he is playing Guzma. I kind of saw that coming. He's probably going to bring out Ditto. Well, I mean, now his hand's completely empty, so I don't even know if Ditto's going down. He's going to try and knock out Ditto for the month. So he's played enough items, right? Yeah, 140, 160. We're doing 160, so yeah, we definitely played a lot. Does he find the knockout here? Ditto does have enough HP to take a hit from an all-out without the no cards in hand. Are you actually this guy is eligible? That's a joke. That is a sick joke. Hmm. That's a sick joke. <sighs> you gotta be serious, bro. This guy hits the Ultra Ball off and struck for one. What the heck? I think we still have to bring out Lele. We need him to knock it out so we can play Stretcher. Okay. We can knock him out Garboder. I'm fine with that. He might take three prizes here, though. So that's, like, the only problem. Um, Yeah. I'm just going to burn this. I don't think we're really going to need counter gain this matchup. Um, if he doesn't take three prizes, we could set up a Buzzle Sledgehammer play too, depending on what we could do. I don't think we'll find Kikui though in Rainbow Energy. 
I'm just gonna pile pad. I'm just gonna play this now. Just make increases the odds of drawing into one. I guess I should have done that last turn. I was gonna wait to do that and then do Lele with the stretcher, but I think it's fine. We'll just knock him out. Take our prize. Okay, there we go. We finally got a Zoark, so we should be back in session now. Okay, so what has he done? He's played a lot of his ball cards, so that's a good sign. Yeah, he's bringing out Rank Guru. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna Guzma me again. We'll see. So smooth over. Does suck that we lost Ditto though, because we really needed Muck here. So that really does suck. It's gonna get back both Apricorns. We gotta switch. <sighs> Alright, so now we're gonna rely a little bit on Zoar to knock him out. Why is Lele still alive after all this time? Hey, look at that! We drew a uh, thing. We drew Cynthia. I think it's a good time to get back Trubbish and Garboder. Because Garboder is one of the big attackers in this matchup. Um, we'll do Cynthia first. Okay. No DCE. But... Should be okay. We can get rid of Keldeo and Zoro because they don't really need Keldeo. Get another Zoark. Yeah, we did have Muck in the deck. Ooh, did we prize for cargo? We did. Rip. How many DCs? Ooh, we got one in the deck. That's not looking too good, folks. Trade off. I guess we'll get rid of Kikui. I don't think we're gonna need it in this situation. There's Muck. I guess Muck can go because we did lose Ditto. Great ball. Can this give us a Trubbish at least? No, it doesn't give us Lele. It gives us a Ranguru too, which I could also play. I am worried, though, that it'll take three prizes. I think if he takes three prizes, I'm done for. There's nothing really else to do this turn, so I think it is best just to go for a resource management here. Hope for the best. I am worried that he'll hit a shrine, though. So, he could potentially take three prizes here. So that's, like, the only thing I'm kind of scared of, is, like, he'll take three prizes. But we can make those DCs. Can this internet leg go away? Thank you, this... Holy cow, I'm gonna... Okay, whatever. Well, resource management. We'll get back... Uh, DC, DC... Yeah, we also didn't get a Trubbish last turn, too. We're gonna have to rely on maybe not enough Zoark. I don't know if we can do that. DC, DC... We still have a couple great balls. I can get back Kikui. Or I can get back the Ultra Ball. We already have a Kikui. I think we'll get back Ultra Ball, try and triple Zoark him. Baranguru lives, that'll be pretty good. Maybe we can, like, confuse him next turn if he somehow survives the turn. He did get back both Apricorn Makers. He's played... Wow, only two Ultra Balls, actually. I thought he played four or three, and never mind. Okay, that kind of changes the state of this match. We'll see. I could have got maybe back a Rainbow Energy, just in case, but we already have two left. I think we're okay. We can also use Counter Energy with Trash Lanch, if it ever does come down to that. Would have been really nice to hit a Garboder last turn, though, guys. That's really what I was trying to hit there, was a Garboder, but we weren't able to find it. Still amazed he has not played a Shrine of Punishments yet. Because he could take... Or maybe he's just waiting for the right moment to take, three prize, or take the two prizes... So yeah, maybe that's what that's what's happening. The good thing is though, Zor can get one shot by all out. 
Unless out of nowhere he like choice bank confused me. Oh, that was an insanely good top deck. A. So we'll do this, see what we get. Okay, we got Great Ball. Do we find a Trubbish? No, we still don't. We get Slugma though, which I'll take. I could get Diancy. Uh, Diancy 50, QE 140. Okay, Diancy is an option in this matchup too. Is that our last counter energy though? No, because we still want counter energy. So if we want to use Diancy, we could potentially take a Diancy to QE play. That would be pretty fun. Okay, there we go. We do find a Trubbish though. Maybe I actually don't do this just in case I can find Lily. I shouldn't have played this so early then. Yeah, I should have waited. Because I can actually maybe hit a Lele here and attack him. Because if I don't find energy, guys, we're in trouble. Yeah, I should have waited to play that. That's my bad. I should have waited to play that. So I'm going to need a Lele to find a supporter, most likely. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Oh, I hate myself for doing that. <laughs> yeah, we, we lose. We're going to lose. There's no way we're winning this. Oh, I shouldn't have played that Nest Ball. I should have traded before I done Nest Ball, because I was like, alright, I'll just get a Trubbish down, and then I realized, wait, I still need to find energy to attack it. So yeah, we're probably going to lose this match, guys, because of that dumb misplay. I could still do Ace Roller, though, so it's not over yet. But, yeah, I should have waited. That's my bad. I should have waited to play that Nest Ball, and I could have Ultra Ball for another Tapu Lele here. Grab a Cynthia or something. Could maybe Kukui if I was feeling lucky, and then, I don't know. Well, Kukui doesn't give me the knockout, so... Yeah. We'll see if he attacks me this turn. He still has one Ultra Ball left, so we'll find out. And if we had Muck online right now, though, guys, I think we would be in a lot of... I think we'd be in a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, he took out my Ditto very early on, which makes me sad and makes me cry in my sleep. If he didn't take out Ditto, we would be in a better spot. Without Muck, this matchup is really hard. Even though we have Garboder, which is like one of the best attackers here for this type of a matchup. Oh, he didn't hit it, but he'll knock me out next turn. So we'll have to maybe hit Mace Roller here. There's Strubbish. Okay, let's do Trade first before we Ultra Ball. There's Judge. Okay, well, Trade off Nest Ball. Dang. We can play Counter Energy. But there's no way I can knock him out this turn with Diancy, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, we'll trade. I could judge him. I don't really want to get rid of Trubbish, to be honest with you. Because I might need Garbo order. I think we'll do it anyways. Nothing else I want to get rid of. There's Buzzwool. There's Lele. We didn't find the DC, though. How? We have all four in the... Oh, and we prized one, I think. But, wow, we didn't hit DC. So that's bad. I might just judge him here and hope for the best. Hope we live. I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We gotta hope to hit DC here so we can maybe attack him or something. Just gonna thin with the Ultra Ball. Okay, there we go. We found DC, so that's good. I hope we can ace roll it next turn. We have Garboder, too, so things could be good. If we survive the turn, we could start making a comeback. We did judge him, so we gave him a new hand of four. Four cards might be a lot to work with. Again, he's burned a lot of his Ultra Balls, so... I just gotta hope five cards is enough for my opponent to not hit the extra damage he needs. To take out my Zorak GX here. That's all I gotta hope for. But this match has been very intense. Oh, that turned into a Macargo. Okay, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. There's an Apricorn Maker. Don't tell me I gave him the judge that gave him the hand he needed. Don't tell him. Or don't tell me he got the perfect hand here. Again, he does have four cards, so there is a lot to work with. And he needs to find Choice Band 2 to knock me out, so we could survive here still. 
we might be safe this turn. If we're safe this turn and we can find Ace Roll here off of trade, we could be in a very powerful spot. Okay, we survived. This is really good. This is really, really good. Okay, we got Guzma. Guzma's good too, in case we need to switch out, so that's another good sign. We'll trade off Choice Band. Really hope we hit Ace Roll on the Diancy. I think I've given up the Diancy at this or the Magirna. Actually, we'll get rid of Lily. I might actually need the bench spot. I don't know. We'll keep the Magirna around. Okay, we'll Great Ball. Ace Roll is in the deck. Even hitting Rainbow Energy would be really splendid. So I could probably go. I could have Ultra Ball too, thin out a little bit more. We should have done that. Okay, we didn't find what we were really looking for, but we did find the Ace Roller though, which is one, I guess that's fine. I was hoping we hit a Rainbow Energy too, not gonna lie. We will. Bring out Zork. Can Ultra Ball for the other Trubbish. No, it's prized. Oh, it's in the discard, sorry. Never mind, we'll put Zork back down. Or Zoro. Okay. This is where things could make a comeback. He's out of Ultra Balls, too, which is good to know. And there's another Guzma. That's pretty good. We can start doing Guzma next turn. Tactical Trash Lanch. I guess my opponent isn't playing Shine of Punishments. I don't know. Because they could have Shined me a long time ago. And knocked out Lele. We still have our Palpad, right? Yeah, we still have another Palpad. I don't know if it's prized or not. I think it actually is prized. I don't think I saw it. But I could Ace Roll a Lele... If we get Lele off the board, we might, you know, things could really start to go back in our favor. I don't really know if, if I do Guzma next turn, I don't want to Guzma out. He might try and like, if, he does, if he's feeling confident about the Gramble, he might switch Snubble into like an Oranguru and sacrifice it, and then we'll just do Guzma. I'm gonna try and attack with our Boater though, that's the plan. This is a very intense game though, guys, very intense. Ooh, he hits a Guzma, I see. What's he gonna bring out? Lele? Okay. He could attack. He could knock me out with Snubble, maybe. I guess I don't know. But I kind of figured he would do a Guzma this turn. So I'll Guzma the Snubble and knock it out. Hopefully, knock it out with Zolt with the. Uh, got a Boater. How many Cynthia's left? Just in case I deck out or something crazy. Okay. No, he hit the Shrine. Okay, this is bad. I might need to attack him with Zoark now. I don't know. Alright, Lele finally goes down. It, uh, it's, I'm, you know what? I'm not even like, mad again. Mad. This thing somehow was in play for, like, the majority of the game. So there is that. As long as I put another Snubble down, we'll knock out Snubble here. And we should be golden. He's out of Snubble, so yeah. And he already played his Ditto, so this is pretty good. This is pretty darn good. I don't know if I need to attack with Garboder or Zork though. It's kind of the only issue. But we should be okay to win this game at this point. Unless he like does a shuffle. We should be good though. Should be good. We'll just knock him out Zoar. Garboder is kind of fragile. I don't think it really matters though, to be fair. Hey, we do have something in the deck. This is kind of where having Megirna is nice. We knock out Snubble anyways. Uh, but you know what? I'm I'm not even going to risk it. We're going to be safe. I'm just going to do one trade here just to find Rainbow Energy or something. Or the other DC. Where's the other DC? Okay. We're taking control of the game, guys. We might be able to pull off a win here. All we need to do is really just hope he doesn't get much but we do have our guzma so if he benches any more snubbles we'll just keep knocking them out so he's gonna great ball he's only played one stretcher so he's oh he's played two never mind this man might actually be out of pokemon to go into or this woman sorry i guess might be out of pokemon to go into might be the dream folks I guess next, we should probably just target my cargo, but I'm going to save that Guzma for uh, any snubbles he benches. Because obviously the only way he can really attack me is with Gramble. I don't think he has anything else. I know he's playing Zebstrika, 
So I saw lightning, but I mean, Substrika doesn't do much at this point. Uh, like, if he's playing three stretchers, rip. But I, I generally don't know if Tramble plays two. He might be playing resource management though. That's where things might get scary. But again, we should win this game. I don't really see how we're losing at this point. It's gonna tank Liza. So maybe what we do, we can just knock out that. Because we attached a fairy energy to it. Okay, yeah, we're knocking out that Oranguru. I don't know if that means that my opponent got, uh... Yeah, I think we knocked out Oranguru. I don't know if that means my opponent played DC or not, but I ain't gonna risk it. Ooh, I almost clicked trade accident. If we clicked trade, we would've lost, I think, unless we do have Pelpad. Is that Pelpad? Hey, we got Pelpad! So we can get back both of our Guzmas now, which is really good, or Ace Rolla. Yeah, I think we win. I don't think my opponent can win this turn. Pretty good game. Not gonna lie. Pretty good game. Long game, too. Jeez. 23 minutes. But yeah, he's out of Snubbles. He's played his Ditto. I don't even know if he has any stretchers left. I don't know if my opponent was trying to build up a, a Ranguru there, but at this point, it doesn't matter. I don't think there's any, like... A t he he could be playing, like, Chromo Lele and Counter Energy. Or Baby Lele and Counter Energy, but I highly doubt it. He's gonna put this Slugma down. Sorry, and that is game. I'm gonna give my point a well play. That was a very good game. That was a very, very intense match, too. That was a very good match. Very close game at that, too. And there's Macargo, our last prize. Whew. And all that, we get an Ultra Prism back. We are gonna open that up for you guys. That game was pretty good, though. Gramble, I think it's a matchup you can beat. Garboder, again, is really good against Gramble. Um... Alolan Muck is good. Even though we didn't have Alolan Muck, we won. And even though we didn't hit uh, what we needed there when I didn't, when I played the Nest Ball a little early and I should have held it, we were still able to win, which is surprising. So I will take the win, guys. I will take it. Now, let's see here what we get out of this pack. Cynthia. No, we got a Verse Hollow, Riolu, and a Shaman. Rip. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute with another game. We'll see if we get to use some counter G attackers this time. Catch you guys in a minute. Alright guys, let's go do another game with the deck here. Spain of Lusamine, man, there's Lusamine on the ladder. Alright, so we are up against potentially Rayquaza, okay. Let's see how we do here. Might not be Rayquaza though, I will see. We'll probably get to use Lele though, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's see here what we start with. We get a lone ditto. As long as Lily's not prized, however, I am liking this hand quite a bit. So that's pretty good. I am enjoying how this hand might come out. So yeah, Ditto starting out the greatest. 40 HP is not a whole lot, so if he starts with Lele and like DC slaps me. RIP. Alright, it is a vehicle deck. Alright, that's pretty good. So we'll Ultra Ball. Get rid of Rainbow and Pelpa. I might regret that though. I kinda need Rainbow Energy. Grab Lele. So we do have uh, we do have our Lele and we do have our Garboders, which is really good. Uh, do we have Lily? We don't why do we keep prizing Lily when we don't want it? When we need it the most. What do you mean, brother? Ooh, nice. You got another Zorua. Dang, bro. We just can't get a break with Lily today. This is kind of unfortunate. Uh, well, Cynthia. Um. Well, DC Zorua, because I'm. I might like. I could evolve that into Zork, obviously, but I might need it for Muck, because Muck's really good against Rayquaza. Okay. So what do we do with this hand? I think we just pass. We might get Marshadowed, we'll see. We'll see if Ditto survives the turn. I probably should. If he's playing Rayquaza Vigable, we should be okay to survive. And if he does play Rayquaza down, you know, he's gotta get rid of the top three cards of his deck. He's gonna get rid of three items and all his golden. He's actually gonna nest ball for Rayquaza. So he's playing he's playing very safe. We do have Lele though. Just stretcher. I do regret giving the Rainbow Energy though. Rainbow Energy is really important in this matchup, but everything else in that hand is important. And he's actually not even going to play Stormy Winds, which is interesting. We'll see if we can knock out Grubbin this turn. That'd be pretty ideal. If he doesn't get another Grubbin down, I want to try and knock out Grubbin so he does not get a Vika Bolt down. We'll see though what happens. He's going to attach, alright. 
Another crazy. He's going for the ability. There we go. He got rid of no items, though, which is annoying. <laughs> he got rid of a Guzma and a Grubbin, though, which is good, I guess. Oh, he's going to switch. Rip. He's going for Tempest. All right, get rid of a bunch of items. Got, how do you not get rid of any items with that hand, bruh? What do you mean? What do you mean, brother? We'll, uh, trade. We'll trade off, um, probably counter energy, if I'm gonna be honest with you. There's Trubbish. I guess I can play him down at this point. I, he got rid of, like, no items there, which is just fascinating. I think we have to judge him this turn. Which tempts me to evolve this into Rayquaza, because then I can always, um... Hmm, what do I get rid of, though? Yeah, I think I will evolve that into Zoroark, though. I can always Ace Rolla. really don't want to get rid of Lele, rid of Lele though. I don't want to lose Choice Band, either, though. Or Rainbow Energy. I think Choice Band's gonna have to lose the cut. No. I don't want to reveal Lele, though. That's the only problem. I think we'll get rid of Choice Band. That's a tough one. I do want to judge him, though. I can't let him have a 10-card hand. Ball be active. As long as we can Ace Roll of that, it's fine. I don't even think we need Mach anymore, to be honest. He's played three Rayquazas down. We'll play the Lele down, so if he does get a knockout, somehow we can just go into it. We got DC, nice. And my opponent says you have a good deck. You have a good deck too, buddy. We'll trade, get rid of Buzzle. Okay, we got Magirna, Slugma. I think we just go for another Zoark here. We'll Stretcher those back. Stretcher probably will be used most on the way. I think we're just right just beating him. No, we'll trade. We still have Palpat. Yeah, we can get rid of Goose, but we can afford to lose our supporters. We can afford to use them for trade bait. There's a great ball. Might as well play it. Okay, there's our stretcher, so it is in the deck. Um Probably just get Trubbish. I don't know. I yeah, I guess we'll Trubbish. Yeah, alright, we'll ride just beating him. We'll see if we survive the turn. We did judge him to four. If he got Rare Candy Beakables off that, I'm a cry. But we'll see. Well, he might have. He has played a lot of cards, so it is possible. It is very possible that he hits Rare Candy Beakables here. He's going to treasure. That's another item, though. I mean, this is a fairly good match. So, this is a fairly easy match to win. We might not get much use of counter energy, though. Oh, he's going for the Mars Shadow. I was right. He is going to play it. Which is fine, I didn't really like this hand that much. Okay, he's so gonna Lily. Does he hit Rare Candy Vigabolt here? No, he doesn't. He's just going for Mars Shadow. That judge really helped us, dude. If he doesn't hit Rare Candy Vigabolt here, that judge was a very good call on my end. There's a Kakui, and he scoops. He scoops the game. He sees the writing on the wall. He's like, bruh, can't do anything. What do you mean, brother? Well, he had a lot. He had a Shiny Lugia. That could be a very... Uh, scary card in that in that matchup. He had Delmise. That's that's not Delmise. But you can kind of see where um, this deck goes. Like you basically should beat Rayquaza fairly easily. Uh, you should be able to beat a lot of matchups um, that are in your favor. Garboder is just a really good attacker. I think we'll wrap today's piece of video here, guys. Honestly, I think we've showed off what the deck is all about and what it can do. We didn't really get to use these counter energy attackers that well. But uh, we did get to use Garboder, um, which is pretty good. But I'm going to wrap today's PDCGO video here with those games. I think they're fine enough. I think that Grand Bowl game honestly could have worn its own video because that was just like a really good match. But uh, yeah, that'll wrap up the video here, guys. Zoar Garboder with Counter Energy Attackers. Is it a good deck at all? Or is it just me being nostalgic for this time last year? I don't know, but it's a fun deck to revisit, you know. And that was this PTCGO video. Let me know down below what you guys think about banning Zoark, banning Lusamine, and banning Double Color Synergy. Um, I gave my opinions. And you guys think there should be any other cards that should get banned? Also, let me know down below. Catch you guys in another PTCGO video. Have a good day, and goodbye.